Hi, I'm George Cow, and today I'm here with my client, Claire Shamila Yi. She just got married, so I have to, <laughs> I have to uh, get used to saying your, your full name now. And I'm um, so happy to just interview her about her. She's building a new business, and she's also tested different niches, and I think she's learned a lot from that experience. I think she's learned lesson that I think all of us can benefit from. So great to have you here, Claire. Thanks, George. So good to be here. <laughs> so let me read your bio out, Claire, so that folks can know um, who you are, what you're building right now, and then we'll get into it. So Claire supports expecting parents to find their inner calm and empowerment as they bring their babies into the world. She offers baby sleep workshops online as well as in person. Uh, she's located in Auckland, New Zealand, and she also teaches hypnobirthing classes locally there. So I will put a link to her website in the notes of the video. So Claire, just to, so everyone understands, baby sleep workshops, what does that mean? <laughs> so uh, it's really, you know, as the name hopefully suggests, but um, teaching parents techniques to really help their babies, um, well, obviously to sleep, but it's, it's really intuitive techniques and helping parents to find their own answers within and follow their own inner guidance at the same time as using these techniques, um, you know, to get them to sleep. So it's part practical, part, um, part also self-development for the parents of, um, you know, really finding who they are as new parents because it's such a... Um, it's just such a whole new world and you it's it takes parents by surprise they don't expect it and they're often thrown in the deep end because every baby is so different so it's you know there's no one size fits all for techniques that work but it's it's obviously just the parents learning their own babies watching them getting to know them and really uh, finding their own way of of parenting the children and, and you know yeah just their own inner compass for that so right. Well, I hope those watching this, if any of you are expecting parents or uh, know any, uh, send, you know, go, go and get some help from Claire. Um, so I, I want to talk about how you came across this niche, because I think one of the things that a lot of us who in, you know, in my audience are dealing with, um, I think ongoingly as creative, authentic entrepreneurs, is that we do have new ideas come. And how do we decide how when to pursue a new niche and when to keep going with something that we've been doing um what is you what's been your experience with that yeah well i think for and and you've helped me so much really refine this george um you know for so long i was just so much you know, i love that um that venn diagram that you've got of the artists way <laughs> of building a business and um, and I was just so much in that artist world where I was really putting my own passions out into the world and um, and I was coming from that place with building a business. But yeah, you've helped me so much to be able to really um, find what it is that people are really needing and fulfill that need. But I found a really nice balance with the baby sleep um, where I can really bring my passions into it and and support parents through this really challenging time in their lives. And it's really meeting a very specific need that they have that I also had a, a personal problems with and struggles myself. So I can personally relate. <laughs> I'm so pleased I'm out of that stage now, but I really, you know, I'm excited to be able to really share uh, this journey with others and help them through it as well. So it's, um, yeah, it's really just, just listening and putting the other thing is putting so much content out there and seeing, what what works what people respond to and you know really just getting out of my own head and into the hearts and minds of of the viewers and and others yeah, yeah. yeah. that is so key i mean the willingness to listen uh to our audience and listen to the market um it sounds so simple but it's actually quite hard to do because the market doesn't necessarily come right up to you and says hey can you please build a business doing this but no. the market does give us hints through how they respond to our content, what questions they're mm -hmm. asking us. So did you find that people were asking you questions about how do I help my baby sleep better? Like how did that, um, how did those hints, how did, how did those hints come to you? 
Well, I guess it was just like for years I've wanted to try and tie my hypnobirthing practice together with my passion. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't seen it. And maybe I've just not personally been ready to go there either. So it's been really that, that meshing of both. But um, yeah, I've just, it, I actually, you know, I can't really clearly remember how it came to me, but it, it was the constant process of putting out videos and things that were from my own passion and be, really analyzing them. I mean, not in a really in-depth way because um, you know, I'm, I'm not super left brained like that, but um, just just seeing and feeling what people really responded to and the hypnobirthing stuff, they just it was just so such an um, it just fell so well with people, like you know, seeing that they really there's a lot of need for these tips and, and these techniques and things to be out in the world. So, um, yeah, my I've got Oliver's uh, my second baby, I've got his birth video on. YouTube and it's got over a million views and it's, it's, um, you know, it's just huge. So yeah. I kind of ignored it for a long time. Um, and just was thinking, oh, I just want to get my, yeah. <laughs> my stuff into the world, you know, but really just, just seeing what people do resonate with was, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and what know. about the baby sleep uh, idea? Um, did you, do you see any um, clear milestones or any, was there a particular way that people got through that idea to you that you said, you know what, let me take this and run with it? Or well, was I it? I just a course on it. I, I, I think, I, you know, just working with my hypnobirthing clients and then I'd, they'd have the babies and then I'd quite often, I'd sometimes hear about the birth and then, but then it was, you know, that was it. And I knew that there was such a big gap in this next phase. And then I just, um, you know, did a huge amount of research and started offering these uh, like the workshop and things. And it just booked out like that. So it's, you know, it's like putting offerings out, like you say. Yeah. <laughs> um, and there it was, it just booked out. So I think, yeah, that was just thinking about it. It was just, um, yeah. yeah, that's great. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I, you know, I maybe don't, I don't say this enough, but I should, should emphasize it more. Like we never, none of us ever know, whether a product or service is going to work until we actually share it with the audience and see if they take us up on it, yeah. you know, see if they sign up for the workshop. And if nobody signs up for the workshop, that's a clue. I mean, uh, assuming that there is enough people who saw it yes. um, and if it's the right people who saw it. And when I say enough, people go, well, how many is enough? Is 10 enough? A hundred enough? A thousand? Well, if it's a 10 right people who saw it and five people signed up, that, that may be all you need to get a clue that, wait a second, if, if five out of 10 people <laughs> signed up, that should, if a thousand of the right people signed up, I mean, saw this, amazing, right? So, mm -hmm. so it's, it's really, um, yeah, it's that confluence of, um, am I talking to the audience that could really want this? And then, yeah. uh, and then are they actually responding with, let me sign up, uh, huge. So I'm so glad you just yeah. said, let me put it out there. And you were talking to the right audience. You were saying, okay, these yes. are people who probably, uh, I, I can tell they're dealing with the problem. Yeah. And they probably would say yes to this because they have already bought classes. So like the type of product that you're selling is similar to what they've already bought. And so that mm. makes a lot of sense for them to say, yes, of course, I'm, I'm used to buying classes and, and I'm the type of person that needs this kind of help. And yeah, so that's great. That was so great that you yeah. decided to do that. So and then, that relationship yeah. was there as well, which I think is really key. So, you know, I'd already given them a, an, a had an offering with them, had experience with them teaching them hypnobirthing, and I just merely mentioned it in class, and, you know, they sign up. And, um, you know, it's just so – I love being able to support them beyond that birth as well. So it's – yeah, it's, it's really just amazingly um, kind of unfolded, but it's it's having that awareness of, of – what do people respond to? And just that constant kind of questioning is what helped me really get to that, that point. Yeah. yeah. That's fantastic. That's really great. So now you're, you know, creating a new, I guess, business or it's a sort of a, would you call it a new business or is this, this no. it's a new website though. <laughs> new website. Yeah. yeah it's and a new it's website. a new, newish offering as well. So um, yeah, it's all part of sort of the overarching my business kind of thing, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> because it's tied in with what I'm already doing, but it's yeah. a new new version. Okay, so yeah, strand. So one of the um, I think challenges people have is 
they do have different interests. And then at what point does it make sense to have a different website? I know. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure there's a right answer to this, but I'm wondering how you came to decide that it's going to be a different. Well, I guess your current, you have three websites. You, you're going to have three websites actually, right? <laughs> I know. Sorry. <laughs> so you've got your original website, which is aucklandhypnobirthing.co.nz. Yeah. Or NZ, as you all say. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so that's yep. the original site. And then your, yep. your second site where you were testing different offerings and niches was, well, your, your name, your maiden name, clairshamila.com, right? Yep. And then now the new site is going to be, do you, you have the domain already, don't you? Yes. Yes. It's so, uh, bbsleep.com, B-E-B-E. Sleep. B-E-B-E sleep.com. It's great. Yeah. Very clever. I think that's a really cool, cool name. So tell, just kind of walk us through your, your thought process on why you decided to start a new site instead of integrated into either Hawk, Auckland Hypnobirthing or Claire Shamila. Yeah, well, it's just such a clear time in people's lives, I think. And I, I'm still feeling like I might be crazy having three different websites as well. So okay. <laughs> this might change, but you know, at the moment it's just a really, there's the, for, for couples, there's the birthing stage. And when par parents are pregnant, they often really don't see past that birth. It's just like, mm. get me through the birth. And, and then suddenly they've got this baby and then it's a whole new chapter in their lives. And so it's a very clear, defined, different niche and offering. And at the moment, I've just got a, a, the offering page within my hypnobirthing website. But, you know, the plan is to build a whole new you know, website under this new domain name for the baby sleep offering, which predominantly will be workshops um, online and in person. So, um, yeah, it's yeah. at the moment, that's the plan. We'll see. <laughs> no, I, I think it's a good plan. I, I think it's a good plan. And I'll, I'll just say this. I think it makes sense to me that it's a separate domain and website because like you said, for, for the visitor, like I, sometimes I say like, the ideal situation, if all of us had all the time and money in the world, like in terms of building our business and marketing would be like, you would have a separate website for every single person who visits. Mm -hmm. Like it would be like birthing advice for George and his wife .com. <laughs> you know, Like, like that yeah. would be, Oh my God. Wow. This website was meant yeah. made just for me. Like literally it really just is for me. talking to me. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's talking to me. <laughs> but obviously that's a, that's a, that's a, you know, fantasy. So what we do is we then say, well, uh, the group of people who visit this website, this is made for them and they will feel like well, I'm talking to their group. Mm. And, you know, and so that's what you're doing. It's like, okay, th the birthing, people are really thinking about that. They're just thinking about that. It makes sense to have a separate site. Yeah. Okay, now they've got a new baby. They're thinking just about that. They're obsessed with it. And, and yeah. they just want a very specialized uh, website just about this and and I think that's one reason I think the other reason so the really really clear audience really clear need but the other reason I think it's smart to have a separate site is the uptake of the offering from what you can see is really strong mm. like there's already market uh, I mean early market evidence that it's going to be a really strong offering so mm -hmm. when an offering is really strong it deserves its own site. I mean, when I say really strong, when you can see it becoming your, I mean, it, it could become your entire business if you wanted it to. Mm. I can imagine that too. So if that's the case, it makes sense to for its own website. So yeah, that's, yeah. I, I'm, I'm in agreement. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. because the thing is, once they've got the baby, the pregnancy just feels like such a long time ago. And it's just, <laughs> it's like a different life almost because it's just night and day between how life feels. So you you really yeah you are talking to quite a different stage in life and I yeah I think that's really what made it such an easy decision because yeah. prior to deciding that I've always been under that thought that it's good to have your own name as your domain because then you can change your niches and things like that but yeah this one it just really felt right and really it's close strong. enough tied where I can send back and forward you know right. perhaps but. You know? Yeah, I, I, yeah, and most of the time, my advice to people is use your own name dot com. Yeah, like when exactly. you're not totally sure, and here's the key: when you don't have very obvious market feedback about your existing offering, like this could be my full time thing. 
then I think your name.com makes a lot of sense because you could, yeah. like, I have had so many clients over the years that have tried different cool names for their company and cool names yeah. for their website. And almost everybody comes back to just their own name.com as being the most long lasting practical solution. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, that's why I say I think your case is different because you're, you're getting such strong and early market feedback that it makes sense in my, I would vote for that. So, um, yeah. so is there anything else you want to share in terms of what you've learned in our work together? Um, something, you know, you wrote in the notes of, of our preparation was how market, like marketing has changed for you and how you view it. Do you want to talk mm -hmm. a bit about that? Yeah, gosh, I could talk about so much and <laughs> things that have aha uh, moments that I've had along the road with you, George. But yeah, I think um, marketing has always felt so icky to me, and I've just been so resistant in doing it. And interestingly, the offers that have really landed the best with people, I've not, I've, I've not really marketed them, as in like had to go out and really sell it. And um, it's just been about being there and building relationships and then, and giving a good experience. And then the word of mouth referrals are so powerful. And that's really what has built my hypnobirthing business. Um, you know, it's just being there, having the offering and growing, building the relationships. Um, and, and that's just been such a nice awareness for me. And I'm not scared of marketing anymore. And even, I don't see even, you know, putting out videos, you know, like you recommend uh, to be marketing either. Whereas before, you know, a, while, a few years ago, I really was so scared of that. I was like, oh, they'll think I'm just trying to sell them things. But, <laughs> you know, now I can just so powerfully feel that it's about building relationships and, and sharing information with people that I know is going to be really helpful, hopefully, for them. And it's along my line of passion as well, which is, you know, that's why we run our own businesses because we're generally, we're doing our passion work. So um, it's, you know, it's just such, such a nice way of connecting with people, sharing offerings, um, you know, paid offerings with them as well. And if they take it up or not, I know that I've hopefully added great value to their, their lives. So that's just been such a nice shift, you know? Yeah. yeah um, I'd love that. It's so true. Yeah marketing can be reframed as you say it's about relationships it's about okay. relationship building it's about helping others i mean mm. we can just say that you know marketing is when it's done best when it's done authentically it's about helping others uh with their content and if they want more help there's more available <laughs> you know like in the pro form of product yeah. or service so really great yeah. really great um yeah, so good. I, yeah i i want to uh respect your time and keep this video relatively um Sure. So let's let's complete the video by having you share. I mean, we've already talked about what you offer, but anything else you want to talk about in terms of your offerings and how people can contact you, etc. Yeah, I mean, um, you can. I guess if you know the website will be below hypnobirthing.co.nz. You can just come and have a look at um and at what <laughs> the, whenever you see this video, you can see what stage I'm up to with uh, getting the new domain name up and running and I'm sure there'll be a link in there somewhere. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I just, just hope that it's, that, yeah, this conversation has been really helpful in, in some way for you and you've been able to pick up some tips to apply to your own business. And, and maybe you can mention uh, who, uh, how do you describe your ideal client? I mean, right now you're building the um, course expectant mothers. Uh, but what about, you know, what, what about the mothers that you find you work best with any, any internal characteristics about them or yeah. Mm. Oh, definitely. Um, definitely people who are well, parents, um, you know, mums and dads who are really wanting to, um, well, everyone wants to do the best for their babies, but the, the internal, um, kind of traits is they're they're intuitive they're more naturally focused they're um yeah they're wanting to give their babies the best start in life um and finding just alternative ways probably to to do that as opposed to just kind of going down the the, the main road i guess yeah and um, they're wanting to be informed and empowered and um and really 
uh, purposeful in, in bringing their, their children into the world. So it's very much conscious surfing and parenting and doing it from the real place of, of love and connection. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's great. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, thank you, Claire, for doing this. Go. Cool. Always good to connect with you. And um, so if, if anyone is, you know, wants to contact Claire, please be sure to look at the links attached to the video. Um, it should be either above or below the video, depending on where you're watching this. And contact Claire. She's very approachable and she's very helpful. So uh, I'm sure she'll love to hear from you. So yeah, awesome. <laughs> thanks, Claire. Thanks, everyone. Thanks so much, George. Thanks, everyone.